All right, so off to the pumping station. So this is like the uh, the medium of the three vehicle types, I would say. The two the two seater. It's not terribly slow, and it's not, but it's also not terribly weak either. There's also the Crimson Guard bikes that the guards drive around on. Those have like mountain mounted guns and stuff. And there's also the I think they're called like Wildcat or Hellcat carriers or something. Those are huge huge vehicles that also have a mounted gun on it as well. You can try to steal one of those if you really want to, but I wouldn't advise it unless you really want it. They are fun to drive, though. I will say that. Okay, we're getting kind of close to our destination. Ow. Much rare drive. Okay, that didn't go as planned. Ditched the vehicle, and off to the pumping station we go. Leaving city safe zone. Now that creature right in front of us is what's known as a yeah, metalhead. As Dax just pointed out. Now when you kill a metalhead for the first time, it drops the gem that was in its head. Metalhead. If you happen to die or re-enter the area, though, you don't just get infinite gems. So, you get the gem once, and it's just a one-time thing. These gems will be coming into play a little bit later in the game. Okay, there's a couple more precursor orbs that we can get from this area. One in here. Here's another. We'll explore the rest of the area later. Because we will be coming here multiple times. All right, up we go. Don't you try to bite me. the electrical thingy. Okay, so when you see the Dark Jack icon like that in the bottom left corner of the screen, that means you're able to turn into Dark Jack whenever you want using the L2 button. You're only able to turn into Dark Jack for a limited amount of time though, so use it sparingly, I would say. Now, if a metalhead gets, like, knocked into the ocean or knocked off a ledge in this game, the game will try its best to, like, send the gem back up to the platform where it was knocked off of. So, don't worry too much if you knock a metalhead off the ledge and stuff. Because usually the game will try to send it back to you if, it's, if it can. Get 
get out of here. I think we're close to the end now. Got him. Ah, there's where the valve is. Ah, the valve. Allow me. By all means. Got it, buddy. Don't say it. Don't even chuckle. Next time, you turn the valve. <laughs> oh, Daxter. Oop. Looks like there's another one back here. A uh, precursor orb, that is. Yep. There are a few more in the area, but I'm not going to get them just yet. Like I said, we will be coming back here later, so we won't worry about them yet. Okay, so we have a new uh, icon on the map now. It's actually fairly close by. Let's go check it out. Oh hey! It's one of those precursor statue things from the first game. Didn't think we'd see one of those. Greetings, great warrior. I sense there is a dark rage burning within you. And in time, it will destroy you with its madness. Only the last power of the precursors can save you. Destroy my enemies. Those creatures you call the Metalheads. Bring me 25 of their skull gems, and I will teach you how to control these powers. Hmm. Alright, then I guess we can do that. So he wants 25 gems so that he can teach us a new ability. We don't have enough of those Metalhead gems, but we're not too far off from getting the, our first ability. Alright, back to the underground. I believe at this point at least one of the side missions should be open. Yep, I see one of them. It's, it's the one I pointed out earlier in the game. So we might as well do that since it's on our way. Oh boy, time for a ring challenge. Everyone loves these. Yeah, 
And of course, we ran into a Crimson Guard right away, so that's always good. Alright, we did it. First try, baby. So that was the first of the ring challenge side missions. Admittedly, not too difficult, but trust me, some of the later ones do can get quite difficult. Okay, off to see Torn again. The slum's water is back on. I'd love to see the heads roll when the Baron finds out. Yeah. I'm sure he's losing lots of sleep over this armpit of the city. We've done what you've asked. Now when do we see the shadow? When I say so. If I say so. But before I even think about it, I want you to take care of an ammo dump we've ID'd in the fortress. Lots of crimson guards, constant patrols. We know it's vulnerable. And the underground needs you to blow up all the ammo you find inside. Get all of it, and we'll deal a body blow to the Baron. You're sending us in, tough guy. So what's with this, we'll deal a body blow stuff? That's fine. I want the Baron to know that it's me who's hurting him. Alright. Looks like we're going after a, a, an ammo storage facility next. Alright, this thing's a wreck. I don't want to take that. Whoops. Sorry, pal. These crimson cards always get me in my way. Okay, we made it inside. Whoa. That thing doesn't look very friendly. So let's see if we can blow this place up. Unauthorized use of fortress door. Ah, crap. Better keep moving. So it's one of those sections where it's like the cameras from the enemy's point of view. I always think these are cool. And I totally wasn't paying attention there, so I died. Let's try that again. Unauthorized use of fortress door. Activating security tank. got that tank thing chasing us. Oh, 
Man, can't you buzz off? We just need to destroy these things on the platforms. It takes care of the barrier. And we lost the tank for the time being. There's no guy fighting for the underground. Yeah, they say you can change it just guards. Don't worry. They said it'll be on the tower wall soon enough. Let's take them. I'm really glad at this point they're not trying to actually shoot us. Because they have tasers equipped on their guns. Alright, you guys are actually smart, just waiting for me. in the city? Why are the guards giving them eco? Uh-oh. Another tank. No time to wonder about it. Now we're gonna have to use this tank here to destroy this place. Yeah, man. Go over here. Come and get me. Alert. Backup cooling system failure. Emergency override initiated. Missile systems at critical overload. Fail safe not responding. Almost got it. Danger. Warhead detonation imminent. Okay, time to leave. Back to the country. <laughs> oh, Daxter. Alright, so goodbye to the ammo dump. Thanks for the ride. Now, are there any other side missions I can do at this point? Nope. So all we can do is just head back to Torn's place again. That poor lady. If only that could have been prevented. The 
Expedition Duo has returned. One barbecued ammo dump served up hot. We saw something odd while torching that ammo. The Baron's guards were giving barrels filled with eco to a group of metalheads. Really? The Shadow will be very interested to hear that. You know, so far, your gigs have been easier than stealing grass from a sleeping yakow. <laughs> you and the rodent want to start proving yourselves? One of our suppliers needs his payment delivered. A bag of eco ore. Take the Zoomer parked out back and drive it to the Hip Hog Heaven Saloon in Southtown. Ask for crew. He'll be there. And don't let the Baron's patrols stop you. By the way, when you get there, pump crew for information. He's wired into the city and may know what the Baron is up to. You can count on us. Are you still here? Hmm, so we gotta go meet this crew fellow. That is a good question, though. Why are the Crimson Guards, like, giving eco to the Metalheads? Perhaps the Baron cut some kind of deal with them? Anyway, we're gonna have to drive this particular vehicle over to Crew's place. And make sure it gets there in one piece. That meter, by the way, at the top of the screen shows you how far away you are from your destination, I think. Now, unfortunately, no matter what happens by this point, the alert sounds. So we just have to try and get out of here as quickly as possible. I'm trying to lose him. Luckily, we don't have much farther to go. We're almost there. Yep, straight ahead. Ow. You shoot at me. Good. Made it. Let me handle this, Jack. Watch my finesse and style. Don't forget to ask Everything's me. cool. Nobody panic. Hey, big guy. Whoa. That is a big guy. You crew? Well, we shook the heat, and your shipment's in primo condition. That's good, eh? Because a cargo of rare eco oil is worth more than ten of your lives. And of course, I'd be forced to collect. <laughs> the underground will take anyone with a pulse these days. And what we have here, the Shadow's mascot of the month. Ooh, soft. Zig, this fur would go well with my silk suit, eh? Listen, this guy. Uh, tons of fun. Anyone can see that you uh, and I fun. have the real juice in this bird. We're both players, right? We're both looking for a piece of the action, right? I think we can do business, right? We did you a favor. Now it's your turn. Why is the Baron giving eco to metalheads? Questions like that could get a person killed, eh? Zig, Pierre Capitan here and his friend, Bonus. If you want to see what that baby can do, try the gun course outside. Show me some skill with that hardware, and I'll hire you for a job or two, eh? Sweet, we just got our first weapon. So what we just got is called the scatter gun, I believe. It, it's a very short range weapon, and it's kind of like a shotgun. Unfortunately, I don't find it very useful. Still, it's cool that we have our first gun. Alright, so let's go test this baby out at the gun course. Easy, huh? Now take the weapon back out. Good. You can find red ammo 
So all that stuff there is ammo for our gun. Red ones are obviously for the scatter gun. So let's try out the gun course. Good luck. Shoot every target. The faster you shoot each target, the more points you'll get. Hold your fire on sinners. Get a right, shot at the civilian targets. Oop, that was close. Oops. Accidentally hit a civvy there. Whoops. The gold, the gold ones are worth more points, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Not doing too good here. Too good there. I'm really out of practice. Care to try for the course right Let's try that again.
Well, I just barely passed that one, but at least I made it. Now, I think what I'm probably going to do is Here I'm going to edit this out, but I'm going to try and get the silver and the gold award for this, just so I get more of the precursor orbs. So you might have to just bear with me a moment, guys.